Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about variables and data types. So variables are pretty much how we manipulate data and are able to do such cool things with it in programming. So I'm going to explain it in terms of sports because that's what makes sense to me. Imagine you have a glove designed to catch a baseball, right? A baseball glove. In programming, there's something like that. So let's say you have the number four. And to store that, we would need a number glove, which would be a variable for numbers. Now, suppose you have a bunch of different kind of balls. Let's say you have soccer balls, basketballs, baseballs. You need different things to catch those, right? Different kind of gloves or similar items. In the same way, programming uses different types of variables for different kinds of information. So when you're programming and you want to keep track of different information like numbers or words or characters, whatever, you need the right type of glove to catch that information. So let's take a look at our catchers, right? Let these gloves represent our variables and let these balls represent our information, right? So, you know, the smaller glove meant to catch the smaller ball. The bigger glove meant to catch the bigger ball, right? And that's kind of how variables work. You want to catch the right sized ball. So if I try to switch this up and put the bigger ball here, or the smaller ball here, it might just crush our catcher, or this one might just slip past the glove. They're not meant to catch that ball. So let me introduce you guys to some pretty basic data types in Java. We have string, which pretty much is meant to hold any text or words, stuff like that. We have integer, but we use int for short, and that's pretty much any whole numbers, like 10, 4. We also have doubles, which is pretty much any decimal values, right? And another cool one is Boolean, which only holds true or false values. So now I'm going to show you how to use them in Java. All right, guys, so before we actually get to coding, I'm going to show you the template for actually assigning variables with values. So we have to specify a data type. And that's going to pretty much just be our strings, our ints, stuff like that. We also need a variable name here, and that could be pretty much anything you want it to be. Uh, it's arbitrary, so it doesn't really matter. And then we have to use an equals, and after that is our value. And then never forget the semicolon, very important in Java. So now that we have that template done, let's try making a variable called name of type string. And let's set it equal to my name, which is Luis. So now this variable name of type string is storing my name, Luis. All right, so now let's do something cooler and let's create a variable of type integer. And there let's store my birth year, which is 2003. So now let's make a new variable of type int and let's store the current year there. The current year is 2024. Right, so now those values are stored in the variables. Let's create a new variable of type integer called my age. And let's actually calculate it using an expression between our two variables, current year and birth year. So my age should be equal to current year minus my birth year. So we can even check that by printing it out right now. But first, let's print out my name. So it's pretty cool using variables because the variables are pretty much equal to the value you set them to, and you could also change them around like here. So now let's print out my name is and then my age, and let's see what we get. So we got Luis is 21, which is correct. All right, so during this lesson, we went over variables and data types as well as assignments and some variable expressions. So I hope you guys learned a lot, and I'll see you in the next video.